Well, well, good morning, everybody. This is hopefully going to be our last mapping day. We might have one a short day tomorrow finishing it up, but uh, actually, good news this whole section that I'm on here now I thought was beans this year, so normally I almost skip it, uh, but this year it's actually uh, it's corn, so glad we, we came through here. Uh, that's going to be this doesn't look like much, but I know it's going to produce. Um, you can see the slight trail going up through. I filmed this several times. You can actually see the trail going from tree to tree. Uh, a lot of denning locations here. We got corn behind it, big timber behind me. It's going to be a good day, guys. We're going to wrap this up. Right now, we're at just shy of 570. I'm really hoping we can get to 800. I don't know if it's possible or not, but we got a ways to go. It's going to be a long day, especially if we're going to try to do some muzzleloader hunting tonight yet. So, anyway. We'll catch you on the next one. We got beans, but there's timber on the other side of it. And over here we got standing corn. We've already marked the location of that pole, that pole, and two around the corner. Didn't take much, wasn't hard to see. Right there on the other side of the fence is a heck of a trail. And they are coming right down through this tube. Uh, not a great 220 location, but you know <laughs> it's definitely worth a pair of dog proofs. Absolutely. Looks like we uh, might be getting wet here in a second too. Iowa weather—you never know what's going to happen. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. And it's just going to. I'm not even sure what they've got over here. Maybe radishes or turnips. Uh, not 100% sure, but it was better when it was corn last year, that's for sure, but still definitely worth setting on. We've actually got corn right up here on top of the hill, so I truly expect that little farm entrance up here by the cattle right next to the corn should be pulling a lot of coon off this, this temper here. This would be a really good late season location. Uh, this actually used to be an actual creek down here, but it's just a little pond now at the bottom. On the other side of the road, another timber. We got beans, we got corn. You can just see the stubble up there a little bit. But these bottoms just funnel everything down in. Uh, actually, we've got one location by that pole up there, another really good 220 location by that evergreen. Uh, something about these cedar trees, guys, it's a huge thing. But right down here on the bottom is where most of my concentration is going to be. And I'll show you why. Not sure how well you can see, but that just tunnels perfectly down through there. Cut across the other side. Oh, man. Don't get much better than that. They're, they're hidden. This grass is, you know, we're dry, so that grass really popped and, and made a good canopy, but... You gotta really be careful. If you guys can't tell, this is steep. I mean, this is every bit of 45 degrees. Well, down at the bottom of this is a big open pit. It's not a culvert. It's, you fall into that concrete, you're dropping about 20 foot. So, uh, might be one of the spots where I actually tie off to the truck. Uh, it's, you know, you gotta watch yourself. Uh, you can get yourself in a bad situation real quick. And I don't bounce like I used to, but definitely gonna set this. Uh, just just a nice day a nice overcast day I like overcast because it doesn't put like glares on the grass you can actually see the trails a lot better uh, it's a lot like fishing I guess in a way with your bow fishing you can see the fish down deeper but a little breezy overcast leaves are turning it's go time fellas we just had our low trail down there but don't forget these ridges these top ridges we got hay up here Oh, it's overgrown a lot, but right here you can see that little hole And this trail tunnels down through You can't even see it up here to the naked eye Talk to me goose I love it out here But you have to really get down in here and see this trail going both ways yeah you can't just see it from uh you know from the road you really got to start paying attention to these things guys 
And that right there is 712 or 713 or 613. I'm sorry. 613. We got a long ways to go. Got to keep moving. Well, that was close. It kind of uh, takes up a good chunk. <sighs> <laughs> uh, almost caught her that was cool that was cool did you tell her to uh, quit hanging out by these raccoon trails starting to see a lot more pheasants so I love that good deal some spots you just look at and go wow goes underneath the fence goes through the trees perfect 220 location right here uh this also be a great spot to pick up a cat or a coyote you know we got uh pasture ground here crp over here across the road we've got corn and alfalfa ground uh, and another draw this is just where everything comes together is on this fence line and coming down uh just kind of where everything meets up oh man you can actually i didn't see this the raccoon trail coming through under the gate we might actually put a 220 right there but you can also see it going right down right down the side here uh you know you're not gonna get much better than this you got to watch these gates since they're obviously using this i don't want to put 220s too close but if i get on the back side of that gate i think we'd be fine we haven't gone far that tree right there is that intersection we we're just talking about but these hay bales come down and they like running these hay bales and we got another fence intersection here a uh, bunch of moo moo staring at me all confused but we've got this coon trail that goes down over the edge perfect 220 location and it wraps up around and you can see it going right to those bales a great two uh 220 location we are so far away from any house it's ridiculous so uh if I remember right, I always struggle to find it on the other side. Ah, it's hard to tell, but it goes right underneath here. Right underneath that tall grass. Be another great 220 location. Might actually put one over here because it's so steep. I can get them down out of the way, keep that trail open too. So, great spot, guys. I'm excited. This is going to be a good year. You can still see that tree we're at. We're right there at that farm entrance. We made another 20 yards. And we've got another just dynamite trail here. And basically this is just coming off the other side of that fence, coming down. Uh, you know, these intersections, like I said, we've got a couple major intersections and that draws all these animals to it. Uh, everything's coming through here. So another great spot. Go ahead and walk down the trail a little bit, see what we can see. Uh, 220 location right underneath there and possibly one right here on the lip I have not checked the other side yet if you notice you can see my tire tracks I swerved way in up there I don't typically do that I normally stay right along the road but we're also right on past the apex of a hill so uh, last thing I want to do is get smoked with someone coming over that hill so well 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 there's some good sign if I ever seen it I'm not seeing much of an area where they're staying, but still good to see it dammed up. Looks like that's the only dam I'm seeing, so. Well, I almost drove right past this location. Phenomenal trail coming out. Uh, there's a tube down there and coming up and over the road. The reason why I was going to, yeah, it's a nice wood to draw, but on the other side, um, we've just got some kind of like winter wheat or something. Not most appealing um, in my eyes, uh, which we don't have a lot of this stuff around here, so I'm kind of unfamiliar. But these hay bales up there, I saw those hay bales in that draw and I stopped, and I'm really glad I did because this is just, this is dynamite. Uh, too close for 220s. But we're definitely going to get a couple dog proofs on this. and I expect this to produce probably four or five coon. Another 
smaller bald eagle, but there he goes.